Hello, I'm Suyong Lee from KAIST. I'm going to present my paper, Montage of Neural Network Language Model Guided JavaScript Engine Fuzzer. This is a joint work with Hyung Seok Han, Sankil Cha, and my advisor, Suo Sung. Web browsers are becoming more and more popular. In 2018, almost 4 billion people in the world used web browsers every day. In a web browser such as Chrome, there is a component called a JS engine, which executes JavaScript code of a web page. Let's assume there is a vulnerability in this engine. Once a benign user accesses a malicious web page, the adversary will be able to execute arbitrary code on behalf of the user by exploiting the vulnerability. Therefore, JS engine vulnerabilities pose a critical security threat. Moreover, according to Zero Theorem, when a JS engine vulnerability is chained with a local privilege escalation bug, it even costs up to 500,000 US dollars. To find such JS engine bugs, previous researchers have employed an approach called fudging. JS engine fuzzers repeatedly generate arbitrary JS code and test whether the generated code triggers any bug. So, how can these fuzzers generate JS code? There are two different types of a fuzzer in terms of generating JS code, mutation-based and generation-based fuzzers. Mutation-based fuzzers, such as Langfuzz, randomly combine ASD subtrees extracted from seed.js. On the other hand, generation-based fuzzers, such as JSFunfuzz, simply apply JS grammar rules from scratch. However, both of them are basically not that different. They randomly combine ASD subtrees or randomly apply JS grammar rules. For example, let's assume this is the current ASD. A fuzzer now wants to append a new building block to this node. And it has three building blocks which are appendable to this node. Then, JS fuzzers like Langfuzz or JS Funfuzz simply select one from these candidates and append it to the node. In other words, they randomly select their building blocks as long as JS grammar allows. So, we thought we can do much better than this. Our intuition is that if we have a set of bug triggering JS code, we can extract similar patterns from the set. Then, we can leverage these patterns to create another bug triggering JS code. For instance, from the previous scenario, we can now refer to the extracted patterns to know which building block is more likely to trigger JS engine bugs. Therefore, we can select the next building block based on these patterns. To investigate whether such patterns exist in bug triggering JS code, we first analyze functional and syntactical commonalities in JS engine vulnerabilities. To find functional commonalities, we collected and analyzed patches of 50 chakra core CVEs. Among 50 patches, 18% revised globopt.cpp and 14% revised javascript array.cpp file. In other words, 18% of CVEs are related to global optimization and 14% are related to JavaScript arrays. For syntactical commonalities, we compared ASD subtrees extracted from two sets. We collected 2,038 JS tests from Chakra Core repository as of August 2016 and extracted subtrees from the set. We also collected 67 POCs triggering Chakra Core CVs reported after August 2016. Then we checked whether subtrees from the second set exist in the first set. Surprisingly, 95% of subtrees extracted from the second set already existed in the first set. For instance, this is a snippet of JS code in the first set. And this is a POC triggering a CV reported after that. As you can see, these two code are syntactically very similar. Based on the two observations from the preliminary studies, we designed a new fuzzer, Montage. To address functional commonalities, Montage leverages the functionality of existing JS tests that previously triggered JS engine bugs by mutating them. And to address syntactical commonalities, Montage models the relationships between ASC subtrees. Montage works as follows. Given a set of JS code, it preprocesses JS code into a sequence of fragments. 
span, it trains a neural network language model with the pre-processed sequences. Finally, under the guidance of the trained model, it mutates a CDJS test to generate bug-triggering JS code. So let's first take a look at the pre-processing step. We have JS code here and the corresponding AST. From this AST, Montage extracts a fragment, which is a subtree of depth one. Particularly, it extracts fragments in the pre-order manner. So the next fragment is this one, then this one, this one, and this one. As a result, the AST on the left side is represented with the sequence of fragments on the right side. So why this modeling is novel? Let's assume that we want to predict the next fragment. Then, starting from the root node, this representation enables modeling the global compositional relationship between fragments. In other words, Montage can predict the next fragment based on all the preceding fragments. Unlike this representation, several previous studies modeled the code as a sequence of tokens as shown on the right side. However, according to our evaluation, most of the JS code created by a token level model were invalid. Among the 100,000 JS code, only 0.58% of JS code created from the token level model were valid. This difference stems from the capability of selecting valid next fragments. Let's assume that given this fragment, Montage wants to predict the next one. Since we represent JS code with fragments, we know that the next fragment should start with variable declaration node, like this one. Therefore, with this representation, Montage can always append valid fragments. At the same time, since this is a sequential form of representation, it can be directly applied to train any prevalent language models, including an LSTM model and a Markov model. Among many language models, Montage employs an LSTM model, which captures long-term dependencies between fragments. Basically, given a sequence of preceding fragments, the model is trained to predict the probability distribution of a next fragment. After training, Montage mutates a CDAST by leveraging the trained LSTM model. You can see a CDJS test on the right side and the corresponding AST on the left side. For simplicity, we only show a snippet which corresponds to the shaded JS statement. From the CDAST, Montage removes a randomly selected subtree and prepares a sequence of fragments that represents the current AST. Then it queries the trained model with the sequence. The model will output the probability distribution of the next fragment. Then from the top K fragments, Montage randomly selects one fragment and appends it to the AST. As in the pre-processing step, Montage repeats this process in the pre-order manner. So it appends the next fragment here, and the next one here, here, and here. As shown in this ASD, Montaza repeats appending fragments until there are no more non-terminal symbols in the lift nodes. After mutation, Montaza outputs the JS code as shown on the right side. To evaluate our father Montage, we collected 33.5K unique JS files from the repositories of four major engines as of January 2017. Then we ran fuzzers against Chakra Core 1.4.1, which is released in February 2017. That is, JS code triggering unpatched bugs in this version of Chakra Core does not exist in our training set. We compared Montage with three different JS engine fuzzers, Code Alchemist, JS Fantas, and iFuzzer. We ran five trials of a fuzzing campaign, each of which lasts for 72 hours. The table reports the median number of unique crashes and non-CVs found by each fuzzer. As you can see, Montage outperformed all the other state-of-the-art fuzzers, and their differences were statistically significant. We compared two different representations of JS code, modeling JS code as a sequence of fragments and a sequence of tokens. Token RNN means mutating JS code by leveraging an LSTM model trained on JS code tokens. 
As you can see, Montage found much more bugs compared to token RNA. Actually, only 0.58% of the JS tests generated by token RNN were executed without errors. To evaluate the effectiveness of the LSTM model, we compared Montage with random fragment assembly without guidance of any model. The result shows that the fuzzer finds more bugs when it is guided by the LSTM model. We further analyzed JS code created by Montage. This graph shows how many fragments are appended to compose a new subtree. As the red line shows, to trigger 90% of security bugs found by Montage, it appends up to 52 fragments. In other words, given a sequence, the LST model captures long-term dependencies between fragments and effectively predicts the next fragment. Finally, we ran Montage against the latest JS engines and found 37 previously unknown bugs. Among the found bugs, two and one security bugs were respectively found from Chakra Core and JavaScript Core. 26 of them were patched at the time of writing, and especially Microsoft rewarded with $5,000 for the bug found in Chakra Core. In conclusion, we proposed the first neural network function model guided JS engine fuzzer and demonstrated its efficacy. We proposed a novel approach of modeling JS code as a sequence of fragments on which any prevalent language models can be trained without modification. Montage outperformed state-of-the-art fuzzers in the old version of Chakra Core. Montage found 37 previously unreported bugs from the latest JS engines. To support future research, we make our code public at this address. For more details of Montage, please refer to our paper. Thank you for your attention.